We read in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir. Deuteronomy 7, 6 to 9. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that you are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in numbers than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, has he, the Lord, brought you up with the mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of the bondman from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Number nine, I want you to underline. Please. Know therefore that the Lord thy God is his God. The faithful God which keeps covenant and mercy with them that love him and with his commandment to a thousand generations. Amen. We're going to the New Testament now. First Peter. Chapter 2 from 9 to 10 verse. Because you're going to say, Brother Mike, you're, talking, you're reading in the Old Testament about Israel. But let no read, because the prophet said that the Old Testament is a shadow of things to come. Let's now read uh, on the New Testament and hear what Paul tells us. Peter tells us. But you are a chosen generation. You are a chosen generation, which is a race I put on the bracket for you, a real priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. A peculiar people means a people for his own possession. Oh. A peculiar people that you should show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness unto his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people of God, but are now the people of God. In the time past were not the people of God, but are now the people of God. Now when? In time. Which had not obtained mercy, but now you obtain mercy. You may receive. May the Lord add a blessing for reading of the scriptures.